Hi guys, um, it's Leanne from, uh, what you know to be the Jar Fancy. Um, I haven't uploaded in, oh god, it's been, mm, a very long time. It's been a very long time, so, um, I apologize to my subscribers for being so inconsistent. Um, there's a reason for it, um... I think on my last video, when I was ready to start doing these dashes, I kind of jumped the gun. And I did mention that my father had just passed and uh, he had dementia. And uh, it's been a long road back to where I am now uh, since the date of his death, which was December 21st, 2019. Um... It was something that was very, very hard to deal with. Um, it kind of took like all of the wind out of my sails. Uh, I had just lost my sister of 39 in 2014. Um, and this is like my second attempt at, at uploading a video now. Um, I am going to do D stashes back to back. So all you're going to see on my channel is D stashes. Um, I doubt you're going to see anything else, uh, unless something shifts, but I doubt that's going to happen. So all you're going to see is, um, video after video of D stashes. And this is just a small one, uh, until I can get the other ones uploaded until I just go on to the next and on to the next and on to the next. Um, I'm a little bit rusty and I'm, I'm pretty much ready to like give up, um, all of my crafting material, my handmaids, my laces, my papers, my jewelry stashes, my bling stashes, my, um, die cuts, my, uh, I mean, I, I, you guys, I have more than any one crafter would ever need in a lifetime. Um, I have way too much stuff. And to be honest, um, as a single mother with a 16 year old, um, that's in between a hard, a rock and a hard place. Sorry. Um, I definitely need the money and, um, the space more than I need the stuff. Um, and I'm sorry, you're just kind of staring at the screen right now with me holding my device, um, on these flowers, these paper flowers. Um, but, um, I'm just going to test this to see if this works because right now I don't really have Wi-Fi in the house. So I'm testing this video to see if it works, to see if it will upload for me. Um. So this very first D stash will be for, um, one, this one right here is a design of my own that I created in a pink and mint green with stamens in the middle and glitter. If you can see the glitter, it's very pretty. Um, two, this is a rosette with a, um, black scallop backing and a little flower in the center. It's very pretty. Um, these two right here are very pretty paper flowers that, I don't know, I just discovered. Um, I, I don't know if they've been done before. I'm sure they probably have, but, uh, I just sort of discovered how to make these on my own. I was just playing around one day and I ended up making them. And out of that came these two flowers. This was made from G45 paper. This was made from, um, I think Stampera. Um, and I just put two little pearl jewels in the center of them and they turned out to be really nice flowers. Um, really nice size embellishments. Uh, and I, I, I don't, again, I don't know if anyone's done them quite the way that I've done them or not, but I, I would say that if I figured it out, someone's probably already done it. Um, I just don't know who or what. I really just discovered that on my own. And then back here we have another rosette 
with the black um, glitter backing scalloped um, with a rose and some flowers in the center. Um, really pretty rose roses, like little rosettes on the um, rosebuds on the on the paper that I used. Um, and then we have this one, which is a, a punched rolled flower with a, a pink rosebud in the middle and some uh, grow green ribbon. And then over here we have another rosette um, that pairs really well with the uh, the uh, prima flower in the middle with the polka dots. I love polka dots. Love, 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 love them. Um, and then I have this one. This one right here is so cute. It's the, like about the same size as these two. But the way the petals fall over and everything, I, I really, really, I think this is one of my favorites, this one right here. And the colors are really pretty. Colors are like pastel. And um, I did uh, coat this one with some um, glossy accents. Um, so this one's a bit glossier than um, the others. Um, then uh, we have this one that I just did um, recently. This is a really pretty, uh, like, um, I guess you could say, uh, like a cascading petaled rose, sort of. Um, I don't know, it's not exactly a rose, but it's, it's, it's a very pretty, um, flower, it's, uh, it's been punched, and it's been, um, you know, I have a tool, it's, um, it's a, it's a flower curling tool, I don't know if you, you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's what I use to, like, curl and curve over the petals, and, um, you can even mess with it and make, make it like kind of even more curled if you want to by using a pencil or a paintbrush or what have you but um I love the way this one turned out and I took and put like a little bit of whitewash on the tips of some of the petals um if you can see that there and there and there and there and it turned out really really nice um so I think that's all of them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine all together. And for this D stash, uh, I'm only asking um, for all nine of these handmade flowers and rosettes um, that you can use it in tons of projects. I mean, um, you can use them in a lot of things. Um, I'm only asking $15 shipped. Um, and in order to, um, purchase this D-Stash, uh, it's PayPal only. In the United States only. Sorry, guys. I had to do, um, United States only. Um, and I will put my paypal link in the description if you'd like an invoice please let me know um but all you have to do to claim this d stash is to comment in the description me just put me me hello raise your hand me and um the link to pay for this d stash um 15 dollars shipped is paypal dot me slash exact fancy and that's the way my link is set up and you'll come to a page where you see my picture and you'll type in the amount fifteen dollars um you can even type in four paper flowers um or type in paper rosettes paper flowers um so that i know which these stash it is and then um just hit send and it's as easy as that it makes it very 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 easy um and when that's done then you can come back and 
do me a favor and comment that it's just done. That way I know to look and make sure that it's it's done and then I'll, I will be sending it out, everything out the next business day um, because I don't want to get backed up on shipping. Um, there really is going to be a lot of de-stashing. Um, it's going to probably take me forever. So if you're not already a subscriber, um, subscribe and hit the bell because I am... Um, pretty much for right now, I have to put all my crafting and stuff on the back burner. There's just, I'm, I'm, I'm in a situation where I just have to, and, um, I'm kind of getting away from Etsy lately. Um, I'm not bashing them or downing them or, uh, I don't really have much to say about them at this point right now. Um, my shops that I do have are on hold, um, just because there's only one me, and I can only keep up with so much, and uh, I don't want to disappoint people, so um, I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and de-stash everything. I need the space, and I definitely need the money. Um, uh, between my father's death and being a single mother, and um, all of the bills and the properties that we own prior to his death, etc., created a um, monsoon of problematic financials um, after his death. To no fault of his own, he was the most beautiful man I've ever known. He was smart. He was a military man. He was a good man. Um, um, sorry, guys. Uh I miss him very much, and um, he did set it up for um, me to inherit um, his things, his properties, and everything that, that he owned, and um, he worked his whole life to make sure that I was okay, but it didn't work out that way because of his illness. Um, and that, again, was not his fault. And I, I don't, I just, I just miss him so much. Um, and it was really, really hard for me to have him home in my house on home hospice and taking care of him for weeks on my own. Um, and watching him decline was really, really hard. So now it's just me and my 16 year old, um, I'm struggling to pay property taxes right now. This is my way of being able to um, make money back on a lot of my investments in my craft stuff because um, GoFundMe on Facebook is just not me. That's just not something that's for me. And so this way, um, I get to share my craft stuff with you and there will be more. This is just a tiny little tidbit beginning um of what i have i mean um and a test run to see if this video will will upload for me because the last one that i recorded um was a bigger d stash and it didn't upload and it was very disappointing so um i'm just trying this is like a test run like i said so if you're interested in um these paper flowers right here let me zoom out so you can see them one more time. And again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine of them. And um, some of them are rosettes and others are ones that I designed myself. Like this one. Um, that one was truly my own design that I figured out on my own. I'm sure someone else has done something similar, but I, I did just sit and figure that out on my own. Same with those two over there. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, keep watching because I have uh, machines. I have jewelry. I have bling. I have pearl strands. I have fabric out the wazoo i have cheesecloth i have feathers i have buttons and buckles and oh my like i mean i have 
charms and jewelry and laces and doilies and bows and boxes and I just it's so huge that the list goes on and on and on and on and I'm basically going to keep me my sewing machine um my brother scan and cut and my little crank scissors with the dies that go with it the rest is all going to go and when I tell you the rest it's going to take me a while um, and it's going to benefit everybody this way. I don't have to do something like GoFundMe on Facebook and kind of everybody wins. You get something, I get something. And, um, you know, it's my way of, uh, making money in the situation that I'm in, um, in a saturated market and don't have the, the means or the energy or the fortitude to be li doing listings and, and shipping and, and, um, using my laptop and all that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's that hard right now. Um, so I'm hoping this video uploads, we're, we're going to see, and I'm going to put a link in the description for the, um, for the PayPal. And again, it's $15 shipped for all nine flowers, which I think is a pretty good price for all of these. Um, they're all handmade by me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. The The video before this is, is a long time ago, and I, I thought I was ready to go ahead and start de-stashing then, but we had to move. And when I moved, I had to dismantle my craft room, and when I tell you I cried, um, all of you ladies with craft rooms out there know, um... It was my haven. It was my place to be. It was my uh, muse to create. And all of that is gone. And um, right now my craft room is in another space where it's not organized or set up the way that I really want it. And it, it, it just kind of took everything out of me. And reality, reality kind of smacked me in the face. Like, you got to do something. And this is my something. So, um, if you want to get a little package with all nine of these flowers for $15, then go ahead and, um, um, hit the link in the description with the PayPal, or you can ask for an invoice and just comment me. It's first come, first serve. So the first person that comments me is the person that's going to get this D-stash, um, and there's going to be lots and lots and lots more to come. Like, lots more. Like, I, I have stuff lined up, like, ready to go. Like, I, I mean, and this is, like, nothing compared to what I have in my craft space right now. Uh, I will tell you there's going to be a big surprise of something that is very sought after that's brand new. It it's, uh, comes with all of its bells and whistles and um, has not been used. Um, and it's of the machine variety. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, I'm going to let that go too. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. Um, so if you're excited to see what comes next please subscribe and hit the bell and come back and um whenever i upload a video if you like what you see grab it if you don't wait to the next because believe me you there's going to be lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different stuff um lots of different craft supplies lots of things that you can do lots of things with so with that, it's been already 20 minutes I've been yapping. So I'm going to stop here and close and hope this video uploads and makes it to you. I hope it does. I hope so. Let's cross our fingers. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to go to plan B. But um, here's to hoping this video uploads and makes it to you. And I hope you like it. Um, like I said... Keep looking for more because I'm going to keep on doing video after video, D-stash after D-stash until I have cleared um, pretty much most of all of my craft stuff. All of it. Pretty much all of it. Except the basics. I'm going back to basics.
keeping my sewing machine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for this D-Stash. Um, look for more. It's going to be coming. Um, and I wish you guys peace and good health. And I hope you're all safe and healthy wherever you are in the U.S. And, um, you know, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. And it's created a lot of problems for a lot of people. Um, I feel like it's two steps forward and ten steps back for me. But um, I'm sure some of you can relate. But anyway, I'm going to close here and cross my fingers that this video uploads. God, help me hope it up uploads. And um, thank you guys for watching and hanging in there with me because this is kind of a boring video. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Um, but again, this is just my way of like um, getting rid of the, the things that I really wanted to hold on to that's really hard to let go. Um, I'm not a hoarder by any of any means, but I've been called that before. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have been called that before, too, if you have a lot of craft stuff in your craft room. And it kind of spreads out into the rest of the house sometimes. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Like, But right now, I'm pretty much like my 16-year-old is off and running, and it's just me. So there's nobody here to bother except me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, share these videos, even if you don't decide that you, um, want the D-Stash. Maybe somebody you know does, or tag someone. Um, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and you guys have a great day. And, um, look for the next one, because it's going to be much bigger. Um, I have kits, too, that I've saved, um, in boxes. So, just hang on. They're coming. They're coming, they're coming. I love you guys. Um, thank you for the ones who stuck with me. Um, with that long pause, um, I really appreciate you guys. I do. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Keep crafting, keep creating. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Bye now.